Hey guys, out at Pound Stretcher hunting down Hot Wheels. Let's go in, let's see what they've got. I'll see you in there, guys. Well, I wasn't expecting them to have Hot Wheels in. <laughs> but look what they've got, guys. Absolutely loads on the pegs. If you look, though, <laughs> they're all exactly the same, one behind the other. I had a little look at the numbers here. Um, and yeah, they go all the way back. So I will have a little quick look through. Um, this might be a bit of a shorter hunt if they're all like that, but maybe we'll find something special. First off, we've got a sweet driver, fast foodie. Have no clue where this is from, what case it's from or anything, but uh, yeah, loads of those. Car di, car di Asada, which is like a big taco. Another fast foodie. Yeah, it looks like it's all the same castings all the way back behind those ones. Uh, a load of the eight fur, which there is actually a treasure hunt out at the moment in the new 2024 stuff for eight fur. Oh, the Hot Wheels kit concept car, Night Rider. Oh, it's got kit written there on the front. I've never noticed that before, but. Yeah, this is a cool little concept car, but not really for me. Let's see what else they've got. They've got Lucid Air, uh, Carvet Gasser. Not seeing anything different. <laughs> Going back here, you see 147, 147, 147, 147, all the way back. Um, ooh, they do have an Aston Martin V12 Speedster with that uh, split interior, passenger and driver. Very nice. Factory Fresh, love that stuff. Ooh, another really good Factory Fresh one is this Alfa Romeo 8C Competition. I do have this already. Oh, look at the front end there, guys. So much detail. What an absolutely beautiful casting. Wow. Yeah, that looks really, really good. I might actually take this one. I think I've got it with uh, on a short card, but not on a long card. So yeah, I'll just pop it up there for now. <laughs> There's plenty of them to go around, guys, if you want to come grab any. McLaren Elva, very nice. Got the Mazda RX-7. I saw this at uh, B&M the other day from an L case of 2022. So I'm guessing there's some L case stuff because yeah, this was also in that case. <laughs> <laughs> One of my favourite castings, actually, uh, from the Rally Champ set. Love the Audi Quattro. Can't wait for the new one. I am checking these numbers, guys, so don't worry. Oh, I didn't even look at the price. £2.50. And they've actually got the names of what's on the peg. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's literally the front one all the way back to the back of the peg. Okay, right, now I know. £2.50. Ugh. Quite expensive, to be honest, but um, if I see something that I want, maybe I'll grab it. Yeah, Nissan Leaf Nismo. Really, really nice livery on these. I don't like that it's all smooth at the front, though, and the badge, yeah, no detail. Ooh, a little retro racer, Shelby Cobra. Yeah, that's nice. Really, really nice livery. Yep, I like that one. That's cool. Pop it back there. Bit of damage on the card, though. Got to be expected. We've got a little skull shaker. Ooh. Not seen this Range Rover before. The Range Rover Classic. I might have to pick this up, guys. Does it have the writing on the front? No, it doesn't. But on the back? Oh, yeah. Mud studs as well on the license plate. Expedition with like a map on the side. This ain't a treasure hunt, is it? <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, I'll take that. Let's pop that to one side. Pop it over there. Yeah, all the way back. It is 159. 159. Oh, and there is another load of those skull shakers behind as well. Okay. Oh, now here is one that I actually really, really needed, guys. It is the Lancia Delta Integra, and yes, 
I did need this. My, uh, I actually found this on a short card not so long ago. My son got into some of my Hot Wheels and opened about four or five of them, ripped them open. <laughs> and I was trying to keep this one on card. So yeah, I'm very happy to find this one. He just loves Hot Wheels as much as I do, guys. So uh, you can't really blame him. <laughs> I've since uh, put them a bit out of reach. Right, that can uh, go to one side. Definitely grabbing that. Very happy. I mean, it's the last one. <laughs> Actually got it on there as well. Oh, now here's a really good one. It's the Bugatti EB110 Super Sport. And I believe, was this like, um, oh, it's such a good design. Look at that. Great detail. Not a fan of that front end, to be honest. And the lights look a little bit rough, but that's a really good looking car, that. And it's from uh, Ryu's Rides. So yeah, rest in peace, Ryu Asada. Um, yep, it's all the same going back there. We have an Audi RS e-tron GT, which is really nice in this dark gray. It says e-tron GT on the license plate too. That's cool. Hey, it might be really good to look through the pegs for like errors. See if we can find anything that's missing like a wheel or missing some paintwork on the side or decal. Another one of those on their own. Wrong peg though, let's put it up. Uh, a random Fusion Buster. Got a Nissan Z Proto, very cool. Like I said, I love this factory fresh set. They're really, really clean, aren't they guys? Got the tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. Now these were peg warmers back uh, when I first started collecting. It was the green one, I believe, but yeah. Seen this red one a few times. Okay, so it's all the same. Last peg, what have we got? We've got the GMC Hummer EV in bright yellow. Yeah, if you don't want to show off enough, you needed it in yellow. <laughs> Beautiful Hummer, very nice. I'm gonna grab it though it back for £2.50, I won't be buying that one. There's a lot of stuff coming out in Matchbox this year that I do want to have a little look at, but I won't go through these right now. Yeah, let's see what we got, guys. Right, well, that was a very strange hunt, but <laughs> we found some really good stuff, some stuff that I needed as well for the collection. So, really happy with that. If you want to like and subscribe, you can. I'll see you on the next one, guys.